What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I want to talk about doing daily crafting writs on console and some ways that you can speed those up so the process is a little bit quicker. Before I hop into that, I just want to let you know there is a Discord here for the YouTube community. Uh, all the information is linked down in the description. It's pretty much for anybody here in the YouTube community that watches the channel. They want somewhere else to kind of hang out, discuss games, no matter what the game may be. It's not tied to any particular game. It's just made, like I said, for the community to hang out and have a good time. So if you'd like to join, like I said, that is all. All that information is linked down in the description. When it comes to doing daily crafting writs on console, it's a bit of a process. If you're like me, you have a lot of characters. I do it on nine every day. If you do it on six, five, uh, more than nine characters, it doesn't matter. It is something that takes a while. Uh, and if you're having to rank up characters' mounts as well, that's a process. If you get on, log in, rank up all your characters' mounts, do all your daily crafting writs, you could be doing some stuff like that for several hours. I have found a few things, in my opinion, that help speed up the process. And the first thing is going to be location. Now, I do my daily crafting writs every day here at uh, the Valen Harbor Way Shrine in Malabal Tor. Now, you will have to do a mission to unlock the area. You kind of can see where I'm standing in right now, where all the tables and things are, the bank, that kind of stuff. There's also a stable master here. Uh, if you need to rank up horses. So that is one reason, or rank up your mounts. That is one reason I like this area because everything is very close-knit and tight and kind of all right here together. One uh, one other place that I know of a lot of people love doing their daily crafting writs, of course, is in Somerset at the Eleanor Way Shrine. There is an area where all the tables are pretty much in a circle. They're a little bit closer together than even where I am right now. The one thing I do not like about that area is any of my new characters that I'm ranking up mounts on. There's not a stable right there. So... I would say find an area that you're comfortable with, find an area that has all the things that you need. So if you need a stable, there's a stable there. If you don't need a stable, you can find somewhere else. But make sure that there, there's an area that all the tables that you're needing are close together. So let's say that you do daily crafting writs every day and you're only doing blacksmithing, clothing, and woodworking. Make sure those tables are all close together. If you're doing all of the uh, 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 writs every day, make sure that you're finding an area where all of the writs are located. On this character here specifically, I do not have jewelry crafting done. This is one of my newer crafting characters. So I'm uh, still working on the jewelry crafting because it takes so long. But as you can see, all of the other uh, crafts are done. So I can do you know, my daily crafting writs, writs on everything but jewelry crafting. I usually wait till I get to 50 before I do daily crafting writs on any character. I'll make sure I rank everything up to 50 you know, or each thing up to 50 before I start doing those writs. And I would really recommend that it, to me, you get the most benefit from it. But one other thing that I can give you that's a very good tip that's something I started doing a couple years ago, and that is having all your provisioning and all your alchemy things ready in your bank. Now, if you have a banker, this is a very easy process. It speeds it up a lot. But if you don't have a banker and you have a bank close to the area, like I said, that you're, you know, there's the bank here in this area that I'm at, uh, a place where you can go grab this stuff really quick. Uh, this will help out where you're not having to go to each table. But if, like I said, if you have a banker, you can pretty much go pull them off the board and then just take this stuff out of your bank. When it comes to provisioning, there's only just a handful of provisioning things that are going to be daily when they rotate out. So you have your first whole fruit and cheese plate, uh, the tonic, of course, here your uh, garlic corn chowder, uh, your garlic hagfish, your mead, and your uh, remorse. All, all of these are going to be the options you have day in and day out for provisioning writs. This is never going to change. It has not changed for years. Now, they could add something eventually. Who knows? But over the last several years, these have been the options for consumables for your daily provisioning writs. So it's always going to be two of these. You know, you're going to have a, a plate of food and a drink of some sort. So when you go pull your provisioning writ off the board, you can just open up your bank and grab these items out of there. And it is done. Then once you go turn it in, just add these items or, you know, put these items back in your bank. And then that way you can get them out on the next character you're about to do things on. Um, the next thing I want to talk about real quick, like I said, is alchemy. You can do the same thing for alchemy. When it, I kind of scroll down here. When it comes to alchemy, there's a handful of poisons, the damage health, the damage magic, the damage stamina, and the drain health poisons. And then you're going to have your essence of health, essence of magic, essence of stamina, and essence of ravage health. Those are going to be the alchemy uh, potions that you're going to have to make every day there's going to rotate out day in and day out uh and if you have those already made up already prepared and pre uh, put in your bank when it comes to preparing all of your daily crafting writs and having to do things you know some of the prep work's already done pretty much so you're not going to have to 
go to every single table. That gonna, that's going to kind of cut off uh, two tables you're going to have to go to and visit. You can just go to your bank, get those out really quickly, and they're ready to go. So kind of for an example, I can show you real quick. Let me run over here and get my provisioning and my alchemy from this board here. So let's say I was doing my crafting writs, and I wanted to go ahead and gra grab these, so I'll just go ahead and grab the two. Uh, then you can see, you know, I have hagfish and the tonic. So we'll go here to the uh, into my banker, get the hagfish and the tonic, and that is complete. Same thing would be, let's say alchemy, we'll have the essence of stamina. Of course, this is going to be grabbed out of here as well. And also, I mean, just keep in mind, um, I know some of you may not have ESO Plus, so that last thing for alchemy, you know, where it gives whatever little thing it was, uh, mud crab shit in this time. Whatever you need to turn in, now I know if you don't have a crafting bag, that's not going to automatically pull. But keep in mind, if that stuff's in your bank, you know, you can just grab that while you're at your banker as well. And like I said, you want somewhere close to turn in this stuff too. You can see how close I am to the area of where I've just uh, done these crafting rates where the tables are and where the boards are. So that is really two key things in my opinion. Having some things prepared that you can just grab out of the banker and also having an area where you're comfortable with doing these writs every day where you can do them quickly. And like I said, if you're needing an area to have a stable in to rank up your uh, you know, stamina, backspace, uh, speed, that kind of thing. So just finding find an area that you're comfortable with and have some things prepared and it will definitely speed up the process of doing your daily crafting writs every day on the Elder Scrolls Online on console. Of course, guys, I hope this helped you out. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. And all their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.